Concord. I believe the Concord, uh, all the people on the Concord, the problem with the Concord, it would have been a pretty good service and it would have actually made a lot of money and stuff. Well, it really didn't. I mean, it was a good, it was a good ship and stuff like that. But the problem with the Concord is, well, for one thing, there was some, um, some low grade quality screws or low grade quality stuff used inside the construction of it that would rust and cause a problem which I didn't like it like 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 well I think well I might I've been I might have been the one who actually said to use hardened bolts or whatever or I don't know I don't know uh the, the, there were some issues with that but they should have been like bolts that wouldn't rust or something like that there was some low grade steel used with the um with the with with some of the screws that rusted and they shouldn't have been like that I said my Germans or my British people were, were very, very effective at, at creating really good stuff. But they might have done some stuff on my, on my behalf because, you know, it's basically, it's me. You know, so, so, so no matter the quality, I don't really know. Like I said, my Irish and my British and my Germans basically did stuff, you know, because they knew I was going to be killed or they knew this was going to happen. So anyway, as I was so rich and powerful and all that other stuff, it's like, well, someone always comes to, 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 to take down the, the leader or whatever. Anyway, it's a problem. Anyway, though, so Concord and and stuff. I believe the problem with that with that company basically is that a lot. It, it turned out that the senators and a lot of people were writing the Concord for free, absolutely for free, so or something like that. And nobody was actually paying for it, or something like that. And they were just taking out of my money. And basically, so they went bankrupt, of course, because I think at some point in time I said, that's it. You know, you, the company has to float on its own. So anyway, I'm not exactly sure exactly. But besides, I mean, going somewhere really fast really doesn't matter. And I wasn't going to pay for my people, you know, bringing troops in to, to, to a country to, 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 to deal with the situation is one thing. But um, but just riding around for free on my on my dollar or, or on my people's money is kind of a different thing, they said. The Concord very much was my project, and it was a very expensive project, and cost a lot of money just by itself. And then to be letting people just ride around it for free is like, well, that's very wasteful and ridiculous. So, anyway, so I'm pretty sure I probably, or one of my, or one of my accountants was like, well, it's not making any money anyway. So, you know, basically, as I had to trim the fat off of my people. Uh, off of my off of my my company, so it might have been one of the things that hit the cutting room floor, as they say. Even the tires alone on the Concord are very very sophisticated tires, as it has a really high landing speed, and it's kind of like a duckling, like it doesn't really land all that well. Like it's it's really dangerous and really hard to land it. So I was like, you know, you know, let's not do that anymore. So and there's better ways. Like I said, I, that, that's one of the reasons why I built the B the B one bomber or the swept wing bomber is because it didn't have to land like that. So, in order for the Concorde to go really fast and be so big, basically it needs a swept wing design. So, basically the wings need to sweep. So, but with the B one bomber, the wings can sweep and sweep back for landing, and still carry the same amount of people. So, the B one bomber was a much better ship, and basically, my idea. And that's how the Concorde and the B-1 Bomber are both Lucifer White Star Lines aircraft. As I was the one who wanted to spend the money and wanted to do the swept wings. Because, I mean, while well, Rodney and other people were like... <laughs> of course, he only cared about his lifetime. He only cared about him and Rick Bash and blah, blah, blah. You know, I was doing, you know... Anyway, though. So, basically the B-1 Bomber, though. But And, and besides, I knew my people were up to it. I knew my people could do it. I, I, as I, as I was like, they build epic ships. They can do this. Like, like I knew my people could could build a could build a swept wing aircraft. It's like, so you have to use titanium or whatever. You know, my people will do it, even if it's carbon fiber. My people could could do it. So I had a lot of faith in my Belfast in my, in my Belfast people and my German people. I had spent a lot of time with my people. Like I said, we built the LSF F colony ship. I mean, of course, we can build a, a swept wing aircraft. So, so anyway. So I knew my people were up to the challenge. Like I said, even if even if the, if this particular human race didn't build the LSF colony ship, it was built by someone. And it might have been even been my exoskeletons. Like I said, my exoskeletons and my uh, my one point fives very much would do anything for me. Like I said, I had created them. 
I had led them. I had helped them with their epic civilizations that are like I think I think the 1.5s are 14,000 planets unless someone didn't unless someone cunned them down and killed them off and then the exoskeletons occupy 240,000 planets. So anyway, while Rodney or Godney was trying to run off to the to, to the Congress of the White House trying to take over and trying to be President Rodney or or you know or, uh, or Admiral Rodney or something like that, you know. Anyway, though, like I say, I don't really know what Rodney was doing while I was playing child or whatever. Rick Bash was doing. Like, probably partying it, partying it up, trying to sleep with Rosella the whole time. Like I said, Rosella would come to me and complain all the time about how he was always trying to touch her and trying to, to, and try, and trying to lean up on her and stuff like that, and she didn't like it. So, and I very much told Rodney a co quite a few times that that's not your place to be doing that. You know, she's not here as your little plaything. So, anyway, and basically put Rodney in his place as far as, you know, proper etiquette for treating, how to treat a daughter or a secretary, my secretary. Like I said, technically Rizal is my secretary, so, um, back off, you know. So, uh, even though she's my technical sister, like, she really, realistically, she's my secretary, or was my secretary. But, like I say, Godney or Rodney wanted to make her his secretary or whatever. I don't really know. And then, of course, there's Mike and his piece of shit brother. So, anyway, though, like I say, all people that I could do without in my existence. But whatever. They're here now, and they're shit now, so whatever. Like I said, I believe it was um, Godney, or President Rodney, and Rick Bash that had me sentenced and also tried to put me in coma. I don't really know. Like I said, I hadn't actually given Rodney that much power, and especially not enough power to actually lie to me and fuck with me like he has. So, and very, very many times I was pissed off at Rodney. So anyway. Anyway, and his head will roll, I'm sure. At some point in time, I think I, he was thrown out of my military or thrown out of whatever, dishonorably discharged for actions or whatever. I don't really know. Like I said, I don't know. I was, I, I, people, my people contacted me about the actions of Rodney, basically, and him and his friend were dishonorably discharged from my military and from my organization, fired, basically. My people were doing it, and I agreed with them. And at some point in time, I might have even sentenced him to jail. I don't know, the charges against Rodney were poor, quite severe. Same thing with Rick Bush. Actions on becoming an officer or whatever. And like I say, I don't really know. I don't really care. America is just one country and just one place, and Earth is just one planet. So, like I said, because of their actions, I would end up, like, being... Anyway, I, was, I don't know if I was already Lucifer Star, or I'd end up being Lucifer Star, so doesn't really matter to me. I said, whatever. So, anyway, Rick Bush would haunt me and annoy me for thousands of years or whatever, or try to, or some fake existence of, 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 of something that thought it was Rick Bush and Rodney. Like I said, I could take you back even further and tell you how Rodney had changed over the years. Um, anyway, whatever. I don't really care. He became a problem, so... Yeah, whatever, you know, thousands, millions of years, and basically me as a computer, me as a artificial intelligence, basically a ruler of planets and galaxies and whatever. It's like, eh, I don't really care. I wash my hands of it. You know, one man's stupidity, or two people trying to do, to get fake judges to sentence me to life in prison and all this other stuff and lobotomies and all that other stuff has basically, he knew I was Lucifer's star. And trying to keep everyone from knowing that I'm the super star is basically his own stupidity and Rick Bush's. Like I said, I just opened the door for basically Jimmy Carter and and his I'll never die, I'll never go old. So, you know, he opened the door. Like I said to Rodney, what you're about to do will cause long-term damaging effects and possibly kill millions or trillions of people. So, anyway, whatever. Two nuclear wars and, and basically half of Europe being carpet bombed later. Hey, I wasn't wrong. 
you know. Like I say, so whatever. That's another reason why I had the damage on on uh, in in Europe and everywhere else on my planet very much um, uh, investigated and also filmed several times by aerial photographs, like everything that has happened on the Earth. You know, it's probably a direct result of Godney or Rick Bash or one of those other people, basically, and had no effect on me. But basically, it worked out better that way anyway, as I was sentenced to 1.5 million years of community service and 99 years on a shelf. And then later on, lobotomized, or put in a coma and lobotomized, for which they checked on me constantly to make sure that I wasn't doing anything or communicating with anyone. It didn't really work out as I was, well, you know, being the creator and everything, you know. <laughs> Being the creator and everything, yeah. We thought you'd get through it. It's like, yeah, I did. So, anyway, like I say, 1.5 exoskeletons, epic existence, 250,000 planets of exoskeletons or other life forms other than humans, and also, of course, the 1 1.5, 14,000 planets of 1.5s or something like that. And, of course, epic, ever growing humanity and female and male kind. So. Anyway, and I'm the creator of all that, including the human race. So, anyway, whatever. And that fact is just something that Godney and Rodney and Rick Bash and everyone else would have to deal with. It's like, whatever. Believe it or don't, I don't care. It's like, it was true, it is true. You know, there should be evidence, and other, other races, other life forms should tell you. And there was LSF colony ship for which there is no record of. And supposedly it crashed with all hands on board and everyone died, but they didn't. Like I say, Nixon or JFK or Jimmy Carter were saying for years how let's not forget the LSF for it disappeared into space and no one ever saw it again. It's like, yeah, it did. The, run the, 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 the runabouts were right there. Black ones. LSF-A. Um, whatever, blackbirds. Depleted uranium, all that stuff. It's like, eh. Anyway, so basically a whole lot of people would be like, Aah! Meanwhile. It's like, whatever, fool. You know, I don't really care. You know, I had to bear witness to your existence, annoyingly enough. And I had to have some other piece of shit above Mar Martha Stewart go and rape a girl every year above me. Above my corpse. Yay! That was real fun. Some poor girl being grabbed from town and some guy like raping her right above my right above my corpse. And, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was buried in Martha Stewart Stewart's field or something, I thought. Anyway, I don't really know. I really don't care. It's like that was not exactly pleasant. And that was like five thousand years or something, I like thought. It's like whatever. It's really stupid. I don't know. I don't care. It's like, well, I've been through a lot, you see. Anyway. So, anyway, if it's if if if, you, if even half of it's true, then well, you know, you got problems. You got some very very big epic problems. And also the fact that I'm 100 trillion years old and there's a galaxy which is probably not too happy. And also knows me. So, and there's a lot of other galaxies that know me, or whatever. I had a nice little epic existence. Like I said, for years I didn't want to talk to anyone that wasn't older than a thousand years, and I really didn't even want to talk to any human humans anymore because everything they ever said was, It's not true, it's not true! <laughs> like, okay, just never mind. I was happy and fine with my existence in my 1.5s. You do whatever you wanted. And then, of course, there's my computer, little little ones that were running around, and the nanotechnology and everything. Like I said, I didn't have to ask or beg or anything to have something built. Just built. My 1.5s were very, very, very effective builders. And so were my so. It was probably part of my community service, maybe, even. So, like, yeah, well, you know, your human existence was threatened. So, paradox that.